What's up, wave makers? It's me, Mommy Suna. I just wanna feel my girth. Before we get started doing makeup and looking at cheese and rice, MLM memes, I just wanna point out that I opened up YouTube memberships. I've had a Patreon for a really long time, but I know there are a lot of you out there who want to support me, but don't wanna mess around with Patreon. So now I've made it so that you can do the same exact thing that you would be doing on Patreon, except here on YouTube. So that is open. Even the lowest tier gets access to my Discord server, which, by the way, for those of you guys who already did sign up and I said I wasn't sure how the Discord server thing's gonna work, it works now and there is a community post that is for members only that tells you how to sync your YouTube account with your Discord so that you can have access to the Discord server. So there's that, but then higher tiers have like verbal video shout outs and my postcard club and merch and stuff like that. So check it out. I'd really, really appreciate it. And I appreciate those of you who have already signed up. So thank you. You. I think that's all I have to say, so let's look at some memes. Okay, the back of my hair is really bothering me though. I saw this little like hair tutorial thing on Instagram this morning, so I decided to try it, but I don't know. <laughs> if it's doing things for me. The top meme this week is an actual meme and it's just titled, Thought Everyone Could Use a Laugh. When it's career day and your mom starts talking about her pyramid scheme. Okay, I know I've already reviewed this particular meme on this channel, but I guess I have something new-ish to add to it. Um, Cause <laughs> this morning, I found out, I don't know if you guys remember, but it was like seven months ago. I made a video about this Mon 8 hun who was sitting in her car like yelling about just all this shit for like 20 minutes. I looked her up this morning because I was like, I wonder what this chick is up to. Uh, turns out she blocked me. <laughs> She never said a word to me, and if she did, then I just never saw it, but I don't know. But clearly she did not want me to um, make any more videos about her. But the silly thing about that is, and I've said this before because people block me a lot. <laughs> When I find out that an MLM distributor or like someone involved with an MLM like blocks me, it makes me want to make more videos about them even more. So it's like, if you're gonna do that, you better hope I never find out, sis. But I was going through her videos. <laughs> I have a private Instagram account and stuff like that obviously she doesn't know about that I wasn't blocked on. So I was like lurking all the stuff she's done since I made a video about her. There's some good stuff that I'm definitely gonna react to because I found out she blocked <laughs> I'm such a petty bitch. In one of the videos, she was talking about her money journey and she was saying that like, people at her kid's school have like talked shit to her kids about what their mom does for a living. Like, oh, your mom's a multi-level marketing lady. <laughs> and shit, man. If that is the kind of reaction your children are getting when they go to school, at what point do you kind of just go, you know, maybe I shouldn't do this. <laughs> it's like literally affecting my kid's social life. It's such a bad thing, dude. Could you imagine me, because I'm obviously a mom, and Sparrow's starting kindergarten this year. Oh my god. But could you imagine me as a mom going to career day and like talking about the shit I do on YouTube and like talking about how pyramid schemes are shit-tacular and whatever and MLMs are basically pyramid schemes. And then like right after that, a young living hun like is like, so here's what I do for a living. <laughs> Could you imagine? It'd be so funny. Although, it would also be funny the other way around too because I could just get up here and be like, yeah, you know Karen, little Susie's mom who was just up here? Everything she said to you is a lie. And here, I'm gonna tell you why because this is what I do for a living. <laughs> just slaying little Susie's mom. Sparrow would be the coolest kid in school to have her mom making shots at someone else's mom. Either that or they'd be like, wow, Sparrow, your mom is kind of a jerk. Kids don't care about people being jerks. Kids are jerks. So whatever. Herbalife, when a nutrition club, in quotations, with Herbalife logos opens up in town where my favorite bar used to be. Oh, hell no. How dare you stand where he stood. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. That has to hurt you like personally, like hit you right in the feels, man. Please excuse my dog. Sorry that they're barking. I mean, we should all be pissed about Herbalife Cafe's opening in general, but if they are like taking the place of a place you used to love and a place you used to go, man, that sucks. I'm sorry, rest in peace. Sorry for your loss. My dogs, I swear to God. And it's still like, it's shocking to me that Herbalife Cafe's are still opening up, right? It's the middle of a pandemic and they're still popping up everywhere now. How long they stay? there is kind of what's in question but still the fact that they're even opening is gross also if you guys saw a few weeks ago we talked about there there was a freaking Herbalife yogurt shop that opened up too so let's keep our eyes open for those the Herbalife hunts just never stop we can't get a break they just keep 
showing up. Talk about market saturation. It's like these people never learn. No power, no water. House inside is 35 degrees Fahrenheit. Poor cell signal here in Houston, Texas, but at least I'm not in a pyramid scheme slash MLM. No matter how bad things get, I remind myself I could be trapped in a pyramid scheme and convinced I'm a business owner. That classic post that we just love to see. I hope that anyone who watches my videos who's in Texas is staying safe right now because that is so scary. So like when I brought Griffin back home, from the hospital. I know this does not compare to like the shit you guys are going through right now, but I'm just trying to relate a little bit. <laughs> but the day we came back home from the hospital after I had Griffin, I walked into my bedroom and there was water in my bedroom and I was like, what the hell's going on? Turns out my water heater sprung a leak while I was in the hospital. Thankfully I have a home warranty. So I called them and it took them like a week to fix my water heater. So I bring home a newborn baby and I had no hot water at all for a week and that was miserable not to mention also that same week our highs were in the 40s which is like really unusual so I go to turn on my heater because we have like centralized AC here in Phoenix because you have to or else you'll die in the summer so I go to turn on my heater doesn't fucking work <laughs> so I didn't have heat or hot water for well hot water for a week and then the heat wasn't fixed for longer than that it was really scary because babies can't like regulate their body temperatures the way that adults can so it was super scary I was like my my child is going to get hypothermia, which was also a concern because I haven't talked about this yet because I'm still kind of processing a lot of it, but I guess I'm kind of over it now. But Griffin had to be in the NICU for three days after I had him because he had low blood sugar. It took him a few days to be able to start regulating that himself, but when babies have low blood sugar, their temperature gets low. So there are he already was having issues regulating his temperature, his body temperature. I get home and I don't have heat and it's 40 degrees outside. like. Dude, sorry to make any of this about myself because everything that people are going through in Texas right now is literally just terrifying. And anyway, I feel for you guys so hard because I literally like went through a similar situation only a few weeks ago. So like, man, please just stay safe. I mean, my Texas viewers might not even be able to see this right now. So I don't know, whenever you get around to watch this video, people in Texas, like I hope you're staying safe and that it's not too hard on you right now. That really is a scary situation to be in. And also let's all just thank our lucky stars that none of us are in MLMs, right? <laughs> Except for the five people who have already disliked this video. Herbalife again, damn. Saw this posted on my Facebook group and had to save her. What are some teas that you recommend that are beneficial for weight loss? Girl, nothing from Herbalife or Arbon. Just wanted to say that before the Huns come for you. <laughs> yes, get to them before the Huns can. I mean, it's not just Herbalife and Arbon. You know, it's, it works. It's, well, who doesn't have a skinny tea these days? Like shit. I mean, isn't like anything that's a green tea considered like good for your metabolism or something? I don't I, don't know. I started doing the blush thing on my nose again. It's been a while since I I think I started doing it after I saw Jenna Marbles rest in peace do it Like she did like an e-girl tutorial And so I did it like a few times and then I just didn't continue to do it But I don't know I'm kind of liking it again. I might be late to the party like maybe no one's doing it anymore But Mane, yikes don't do my girls like that if you remember these superheroes it's time to discover these superheroes. What in the actual fuck? What in the actual fuck? <laughs> Why? Why? Why you gotta do that? Oh shit, it's from MoFam meme. Speaking of pages that have blocked me. <laughs> I am using a purple highlight today. I don't know how it's gonna turn up on camera, but in real life, I feel like it's really, really obnoxiously purple. But we're going for a purple eye look today, so I'm using a purple highlight. You can keep your negative, oh my god, Savannah, your highlight looks like shit, comments to yourself. This highlight is so freaking pretty. Like, I, it's very unconventional, but oh my god, it's so pretty. It's by Nomad Cosmetics, by the way. I only have like a little sample size of it. I think I got it from Ipsy back in the day but damn I, it's just so pretty but every time I go a little like adventurous with things people get all <laughs> saw this gem in a group for job seekers oh no I'm currently looking to expand my business and I'm looking for new people DM me for more info no one wants to join a Ponzi scheme or an MLM <laughs> <laughs> looking to expand my business. If it was a real business, you'd just be posting on, what is that resume site that sponsors creators all the time? I don't know. Post somewhere where people will send you their resume, not just like Facebook. But unfortunately, I think there are people who do still want to join MLMs because they have been fed misinformation about the 
possibility of success and that's what our community is here for so that hopefully they find us first so that when they're approached by people who are like I want to expand my business they can go no thanks I don't want to join your MLM Ooh, Avon that's one we don't see on here very often another unfortunate victim to the no poll option oh no <laughs> with the lockdown it's almost impossible to get essential items now and home decorations I'm a Avon leader as well as a rep and able to help you get your items would anyone like a digital copy of the current campaign brochure? Or even like to become an Avon representative themselves and earn a bit of extra money? <laughs> Who wants to bet that the two votes and the one vote at the bottom are like her upline or her team members or something like that? Maybe I'm ignorant to what's going on in the rest of the world or the country for that matter, but like lockdown? quote unquote, happened like so long ago and like we've all been kind of quarantined, well not all of us, most of us have been stuck inside of our house for the past year with nowhere to go really. So it's like over the past year, I think at this point, this unfortunately is our new norm and um, if I need home decorations, it's not that hard to get them, you know? Also, does Avon sell home decorations? What the fuck? I thought they just sold makeup and skincare. Anyway, maybe there are places that have just like completely gone on back to lockdown, which, you know, good for them. With the new COVID strain going on, I think that's what we all should be doing, but easier said than done, I suppose. I guess what I'm saying is that this Avon hunt is like, was she living under a rock this whole time? And all of a sudden she's like, lockdown makes things hard. Yeah, no, Karen, we've had the past year to kind of figure out how to navigate the pandemic. Where have you been? You don't need an MLM to help you do that shit. And if I wasn't your customer before, I ain't gonna be now. PSA for my local selling slash swapping group on Facebook. I've noticed an increase in people advertising their home business, like selling candles and essential oils here. I'd like to raise awareness about multi-level marketing schemes, which can be financial ruinous. The main dangers of MLM schemes are spending a lot of money on product you can't shift, untested cosmetics causing injury, Google Monet hair loss. Here's a site which explains the red flags that you may be looking at an MLM scheme. 10 ways to spot an MLM multi-level marketing scam. <laughs> good, good. If only more groups did this. <laughs> if only Facebook just actually did what they said they were gonna do and made it harder for these people to advertise on their platform. Meanwhile, Mark Zuckerberg is out there zucking people who don't deserve it, but all the Huns are still hanging out, trying to scam their friends and family. Oh, here's an anecdote. My roommate bought a stock of dodgy looking cosmetics for the modest sum of $1,500. Oh no. This is supposed to be a starter sum from what I gathered, which is three times more than the cost of his rent, which he can barely afford. Now that he'd been furloughed for almost a full year, the new MLM sells cosmetics with original Dead Sea ingredients. They never quite specify what ingredients or how much of it. I tried to look it up previously and found absolutely no list of ingredients anywhere. He spends entire days on the phone and Zoom talking about the supposed magical abilities of these products due to their Dead Sea thing, talking about how it miraculously healed all sorts of vague skin ailments that no doctor could help and trying to sell it to his friends, which is only made slightly worse by the fact that we live in a tourism heavy city right next to the real deal. Not only the city is full of dedicated shops selling equally dodgy Dead Sea products, the actual physical Dead Sea is less than 40 minutes drive away. Oh God. Okay, so a new MLM that popped up right next to the actual Dead Sea. <laughs> What? I know the Dead Sea thing is kind of like hype marketing, the Dead Sea salt or whatever. Like I've seen it used in advertising for certain cosmetics and stuff, but holy shit, $1,500 and that's the startup? Like that is really high for any MLM? Like you don't see that kind of price tag on a starter kit very often, especially for cosmetics. Like what, what are they charging? Holy moly. Those products must be so expensive and Obviously, they're, I mean, bullshit. They don't live in America, so I don't know what the rules are as far as like truth and advertising in whatever country they're in. But in America, you can't get away with that shit. Saying that no doctor can cure this shit, but these cosmetics did. Like, what the hell? I mean, doesn't the Dead Sea just have a high salt content? That's it? Like, it's not like really a special kind of salt, right? It's just like a high amount of it, from what I understood. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm not a Dead Sea expert. <laughs> by any means. Being furloughed for a year. He had to have tried to do other money-making things before this, right? Like you don't just sit around for a year and then be like, you know what? Now is the time. <laughs> Maybe they have a nice unemployment package. Arbon fueled by what? <laughs> Stop. 
pop it. For those of you who um, don't see it, it's supposed to say fueled by fizz, like because Arbon fizz sticks, but I think we all know the word that we all actually see. <laughs> Oh god, another anecdote. On a first date? What first date behavior is a deal breaker? Taking me to a multi-level marketing seminar actually happened. Listen, you can be your own boss and set your hours. Just give me 50% of all sales you make, and if you don't make 100 sales per month, I'll have to take your children as collateral. Ew, taking them to a seminar disguised as a date? That's just sad, right? That is just too much. We hear stories all the time of like meeting people on dating apps who are just trying to recruit you, but I don't think I've ever heard of anyone actually being taken to a seminar disguised as a date. That's awful. Shit post. Two years ago, I used to be in an MLM and sent a cold call message to a girl. Exactly two years and three days later, she sends me this. I guess I'm getting my payback. <laughs> February 12th, 2019. Hey, I'm looking for two more people to be product reviewers for me. I was just looking at your page and thought you'd be a perfect fit. All you have to do is try a product for 90 days and tell me what you think. You'll get a huge discount for helping me out. Can I give you more info? That particular message, like that is a copy paste. I feel like I've read that exact word for word a thousand times. Anyway. Hey, sorry for the random message, but I just thought I'd let you know about the company I work with and the amazing free opportunity they have to offer. Your country right is so untouched ground and there's so many new and exciting things coming. So now is the right time to join. I don't know if it's for you that there is crazy money to be made. Let me know if you would be interested and I can send out some more information. Hmm, a free MLM? That's like new and just come- I mean, I wonder if it's Body Shop. Someone sent me on Instagram the other day that the Body Shop is coming to Canada. I don't think they're in the US yet. I mean, like, Body Shop as a actual store is, but I don't think the MLM side of it is in the United States yet. But it's definitely coming to Canada, so I, I'm just trying to figure out what MLM this girl is in, but I don't know. It could be something totally different. But it sounds like it's something that was in a different country that is now coming to wherever this person lives. Sorry if you hear my baby crying. My husband's making him a bottle. Don't worry. He's with his dad. Imagine being uninterested in an MLM two years ago and then two years later you're like, I guess I'll message this person that I totally blew off. Can you consider the reasons why you decided to blow that person off two years ago? Like it sounds like at one point this person had a good head on their shoulders like I don't want to be involved in that but now all of a sudden they are. What changed Karen? Pretty interesting. I think people are probably gonna ask what eyeshadow I'm using. This is a palette I got from Shop Miss A like two years ago. It says Amuse Cosmetics on it, but um, Shop Miss A is, I mean, I doubt you could get this palette on there anymore because it was like a $1 makeup store, like an online makeup store. But I tell you what, this palette literally was a dollar. I mean, the color payoff is really nice, especially for purple shadows. Like I know people are gonna ask about it. Good luck finding it. <laughs> It might still exist somewhere wherever Amuse Cosmetics is, but I got it off of Shop Miss A, so. Something about this picture looks photoshopped. Can't quite put my finger on it. What the fuck? What is happening? Like, what app did they use to Photoshop this? Like, definitely not actual Photoshop. Like, what? It's so pixelated and so... Like, how can you post that and be like, this is fine, no one will notice. Like, it's so freaking blatantly obvious. Like, at this point, just do what everyone else does and steal someone else's photos and say it was <laughs> the result of whatever product you're trying to push when it really wasn't. It was just actual hard work and dedication, but you're stealing their shit anyway. You know, that happens a lot. <laughs> I don't know what you use to make this happen, but it doesn't look good. <laughs> oh god, Monet. A woman I went to high school with just started selling Monet. I feel like I'm living that scene in the office because the bald spot isn't getting any smaller, babe. They're still the same. Our products are not just for women. Check these amazing results my friend's boyfriend has had after only three months of using them. Yeah, it's literally just different lighting. It looks exactly the same. <laughs> the people who are looking at their posts can tell the difference between lighting changes. Like, the, it's so friggin' obvious what's going on there. I don't know if you're gonna sell any products that way. If you really think we're all that stupid, I hope no one's buying your products because that's insulting. Ooh, two money in a row. Hmm, I wonder what the issue could be. Hi, my friends. Our wedding date is blank of this year. Unfortunately it seems as though I am losing clumps of hair due to stress from work. I have been using Monade for 4 years now and I am taking my vitamins. I do suffer from an autoimmune disease, which I'm sure doesn't help. Just started drinking Athletic Greens as well and will hopefully see results. But I'm so nervous about losing more hair. Trying not to get disappointed just yet. 
Do any of you brides have any recommendations? Maybe this is kind of like a shit post or something, but like from the person who posted this in the subreddit. But I mean, this person has an autoimmune disease. Plus they've been using Mon 8 for four years, quote unquote, and they're just now losing hair. So, I mean, I know we're just laughing because it's like, <laughs> it's obviously Mon 8's fault. I mean, it sounds like there's a lot of different factors in this woman's life, but I mean, stopping the use of Mon 8 and using something a little, I don't know, less gross, <laughs> maybe it'll help. I mean, she is looking for recommendations, but maybe she's just like unwilling to drop Mon 8. I don't know. That is kind of silly though. She's like, oh, by the way, yeah, I do have an autoimmune disease. I guess that doesn't help. It's probably a flare up. It's like probably an actual medical issue and maybe you should talk to a doctor about this, you know? <laughs> I mean, hmm, I wonder what it could be. It's probably that. Story. Ooh, I love these. This sub saved me from working for an MLM. Applied for an accounting job this morning that didn't have details of the company. Pretty standard where I live. If the recruiter thinks you could be a good candidate, you get more details and follow up. Got the job description and did a quick Google of the company and there's a very suspicious earn with us button on their website. A quick click later and it's all about running your own business and be your own boss. While the job I applied for was in their corporate function, I don't feel comfortable working for a company that makes part of its money by exploiting those vulnerable enough to fall for their scam. It looks like they also do retail sales, so not 100% MLM. I wouldn't be able to live with myself knowing some of my salary would be being paid by the losses consultants make, however indirectly. It just makes me feel grubby. So I've emailed the recruiter back explaining why I don't want to pursue this role. I'm really glad I didn't spend more time going after this job, and if I hadn't been lurking here for so long, I don't know if I'd have picked up the MLM part so quickly. Oh, geez, good. That's great. I mean, I'm glad that this person obviously has a soul because I feel like a lot of people could justify, is it okay to work for an MLM if you're actually getting a salary from the corporate office, like you're doing customer service or accounting or something like that? It's like, you shouldn't align yourself with any company that partakes in such shitty business practices, especially if your heart is telling you not to do it, you know? So good for this person for having a freaking spine, especially right now. It's a hard time for a lot of people and there are a lot of people who are in a position to just take any job that's handed to them and this person's like no nah, I'm sure I'll find something else <laughs> good for you dude I'm glad that you were able to have enough knowledge to be like you know what no I wonder what company this was for though you hate to see it hi love I hope I'm not bothering you but you're absolutely gorgeous I was wondering if you'd be open to hearing more about some of my natural beauty nutrition and lifestyle products can I tell you more girl get the fuck out of my DMs with your pyramid scheme bullshit <laughs> I know there are a lot of people in this community who are all about respect and hearing people out and giving them a chance and this person is not one of those people. <laughs> Whoever you are, I'm proud of you. Cause that's the same exact response I would have. <laughs> just straight up, get the fuck out of my DMs. <laughs> yep, sometimes you just gotta be straight up. That's that. How often do these Huns get DMs like that? And do they find them shocking when they do? Because like, I'm sure most people are just trying to kind of beat around the bush and just be like, oh no, it's not for me right now, sorry. Like being polite about it or whatever. And then like you get a DM like this and you're like, oh shit. <laughs> Wow, that person is really rude. <laughs> it's like, I think most of the people you DM want to have a response like that, they just don't. You know, maybe it's just a matter of we have been victimized for too long. Rodan and Fields stopped buying MLM skincare thanks to this thread. After months of putting off the periodic shipment, this subreddit helped me realize that I'm paying way too much for products that aren't even derm grade. I like the products, but definitely not worth the money. So I told my friend slash old coworker, the hun, I would not be a customer anymore. Thanks y'all. Oh, well, that's great. But okay, hold on though, because, and this is news to me and correct me if I'm wrong, but according to what this person said, Rodan and Fields isn't like dermatologist grade. The reason this is, I'm like questioning this is because aren't Rodan and Fields like the people, aren't they dermatologists? Isn't that like the whole thing that they thrive on, what they like advertise on? Formulated by actual dermatologists, so what defines dermatologist grade? I don't know. I don't know how this eyeshadow look is showing up on camera, but I really love it today. I feel cute! The top comment on here too is telling her to like be careful and watch her credit card statements and stuff too just to make sure they're not still charging her for stuff, which is really freaking interesting because if you guys watched my video from last Thursday, I talked about literally that, like that kind of fraud happening in Monet. I messed up this eyeliner already, no! I wanted to just do a thin line of eyeliner, but that's not happening today because I goofed up. 
dang it. We've seen enough of these horror stories on here, says the commenter, and it's like, yeah, how do MLMs keep getting away with this kind of fraud, dude? I mean, I don't know if Rodan and Fields has ever been part of those happenings, but I mean, Monet is right now. Huge freaking scandal. You know, honestly, after talking about it too, I feel like most people are like, yeah, Monet did this to me too. I've never really heard like other MLMs be named in something like this now that I think about it. I mean, they probably have. I just don't know off the top of my head, but like, I feel like it's always just Monet that I hear of it. But you know, I wouldn't put it past Rodan and Fields either. But anyway, yeah, the cost of Rodan and Fields, I feel like I would expect to be like high quality dermatologist grade shit. Like if you're paying that much money for those products, like they should be high quality, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm probably just giving them too much credit. Man, I really royally messed up my eyeliner today. I don't know if I can fix it. Satire, my sister almost got me. <laughs> Wanna make $50? Is this an MLM? LOL. You're like, no. What pyramid scheme is this? LMAO. LOL essential oil infused makeup for weight loss. Bahaha. <laughs> What a silly sister. I feel like that would be a bad MLM pitch though. Like, wanna make $50? No, no one's gonna join your MLM if you're only advertising they're gonna make $50. You have to advertise that they're gonna get a free car and they're gonna change their lives and pay off all their debt and go on the vacations of their lifetimes and you know, all that shit. Color Street coworker tried to shame me for my natural nails and said her neon busy patterns would be a confidence booster for me. I told her I'm a lazy piece of shit and would never use her nail wraps. Sales pitch nipped in the bud. There's just a picture of her natural nails, which are beautiful. Coming from someone who has the world's shittiest natural nails, that is me. God, like, do not put Color Street on your nails, dude. I know I've talked about it a lot, but I don't know, maybe there's new people here who don't know, but I used Color Street for a long time. Well, I mean, a few months anyway, because so many of you guys sent me your old Color Street for me to try, and then I just had, like, so many sheets of it. So I was using it, because I was, like, at first I did like it. I liked the convenience of it. And, like, most of the ones that I was sent were just kind of basic, like, I don't know, they weren't ugly. Most of them were anyway. So I was using them, but after a few months, they royally like dried out my nails. Like they got messed up. So I stopped using them. <laughs> but man, I would really, really hate to see someone with such gorgeous natural nails destroy them with Color Street, like damn. Ooh, this one's just called, can we stop with the body shaming? Lately, it seems like there's a new wind of body shaming, calling Huns ugly, making fun of weight or undesirable feet features and it comes across really malicious and mean-spirited. Most of the people in MLMs that are posted here are women at the bottom of the pyramid who have been manipulated, gaslit, and sometimes even threatened to keep their membership and to push hard and make money. It's not enough the MLMs are ruining these women's lives, but now we have to comment on their snaggle tooth, chin hairs, or more. Cults, and let's face it, MLMs are basically cults, use this behavior from non-members to convince people to stay. Look at how the outside world treats you. Do you really want to abandon your family here for those people? Do some Huns deserve of harsh words about their sales tactics and insensitivity? Yes. Do they deserve to be shamed over things that are out of their control? No. This is a really good uh, talking point to end today's video on, but yeah, um, I agree. I know, obviously, I make my living shit-talking ones, but I always try to make it very clearly about the arguments, about the substance of the words they're saying, and not about their physical outward appearance. I think, and you know, maybe this is wrong of me, but I feel like it still controls tributes to the arguments is that like I know when Monet Huns like wear their hair up or like wear a hat or something like that I like to shit talk them for that because I'm like well if Monet is so amazing then why don't you just put your hair down which really like to me I'm still like if you're selling a product like I'm going to talk about the outward appearance of the product that you're selling and the way it affects it I don't know I mean maybe that's wrong of me to mention that kind of stuff but I never try to be like wow your hair looks like shit if I have I'm sorry but I do agree like we shouldn't be focusing on those things it needs to be about the argument and that's why I think there's an article article that came out on the Atlantic that was basically saying that the anti MLM movement is just a bunch of mean girls and that's not how it should be I don't want to be portrayed that way I don't think any of us do but I also do have to say that I feel like I really don't see that kind of behavior very often in this community yeah like there are some people who just want to be mean who aren't actually focused on the message and the task 
delicate hand. Like there are some people who want to just tear other women down and it's that way in both sides of the community. Let's be honest, dude. But as a community, it's really important that we stay away from the ad hominem attacks and the logical fallacies because that's what we preach against so much, our logical fallacies. And the moment we start nitpicking at people's outward appearance, then we're completely discredited. So we need to be the, the bigger guys. Anyway, I think that's a really good note to end it on. Let's thank my patrons and also, I don't have any people in my membership yet that I am verbally reading out, but if you want to be part of the list I'm about to read out, you can check out my YouTube membership or also my Patreon, whatever works best for you to get yourself on this list or just on the list of names that are gonna scroll before your eyes in a moment. So anyway, the biggest thank you in the whole wide world goes to Anxiety for Days, Evan Adler, Rach J, Laurelyn Martin, Eve Blondo, Karina Winman, Yesenia Rivera, Daniel Urena, Maria Burchett, April Limblom, Tuesday the 13th, Amanda McMahon, Justin Kelsey, E. Higgins, Erica Lautercratic, Molly Wasilewski, Boris Geller, Meredith Nakata, Rachel McHenry, Chad Ferguson, Kim Cartwright, Maddie Darley, Kelly Crefield, Katrina Rosemarick, and Elizabeth Wyatt, and to the rest of my fabulous patrons. And I just realized, Evan and Eve, I am so sorry I didn't put your names together again. Evan is bullying me. <laughs> He is my high school bully. And when I read my patrons off my phone, him and Eve are not together. If I read them off my computer, they are, but they deserve it and I failed you and I'm so sorry. <laughs> See, I could have just like gone into post-production and edited your names together, probably without you being able to tell, but now that I'm like openly saying it, now everybody knows, so. Help, I'm being bullied. <laughs> anyway, with that all being said, guys, keep making waves, babes, and I will smell you all later. Mommy Tsunami, out.